What's good, YouTube? It's your boy at the Aftermath. So as you can see, today we have arms. We're gonna do some crazy arm training, get a crazy pump, pick some big ass arms for yo ass. And uh, we are doing episode three of Animade. And today's feature of Animade is Toriko from Toriko. Pretty much what he is is a gourmet chef and he's incredibly jacked. All right, it's anime. Manga, Shonen Jump, uh, Manga, and I mean, here's some clips. Alright, so when you see this guy's physique, it's pretty much, what stands out the most for me is his arms, alright? His shreddedness in his arms and the size his arms can get. And now if you see this guy in battle, his shit can get huge. We're talking about like some fourth gear Luffy type stuff, all right? And um, I just got the motivation to pretty much train arms today um, after realizing, you know, uh, you know, what's the next anime video I wanna do? And here we are. So we are gonna do four sets of pull-ups, 10 reps, and then four sets of the double cable, double cable curls, right? Where you're in the middle, curling both sides. And this is a super set, so we're starting our arm session out the gates, right? I'm trying to get pumped through my through my uh, hoodie before I take it off. So when I start seeing veins through the hoodie, a little bit more, once that vein come out a little bit more, we're gonna take this out. Get your don't touch these at alphaclothing.co. All right. All right, we got four sets of 12 right here on the preacher curls. I got about, uh, I guess this would be about like 100 pounds for 12 reps for the second set. We're gonna hit all biceps first and then we're gonna hit all triceps. Uh, a lot of times when I go back and forth from bicep to tricep, I end up losing too much feel, too much pump in the other muscle. And then when I go back to it, I don't get that intensity that I want uh, and the contractions that I want. So I like to continue on with one muscle and then go to the next one when it comes to the, the arm training. Now, when you see uh, with Torigo, he has very developed, um, huge arms. You know, not, that, not just, once again, not just huge, but they're developed as well. So we're gonna be playing with a lot of high to low rep, rep schemes for, the, for training the arms. And uh, what that's gonna allow you to do is build that volume, but also build that hard, dense, lean muscle as well. So that last set, we finished our set of 12. With the regular weight, we're gonna drop set as many reps as possible with the one plate. And now as, many, as many full reps as possible, like you, if once you feel like you can't hit another full rep, we're gonna try to do a partials, very minimal partials for about 20 reps to end this preacher curl uh, setup. So once again, we did four sets of uh, 12 reps. And then on that last set, we hit the 12 reps, did a uh, drop set it, and then hit the partials after we hit the full full reps. So let's move along. We're gonna do spider curls, and what spider curls is, as we'll see in a moment, 
when you're on an incline bench and you have the uh, the barbell hanging down, you really don't get much of a, well, you can, you can still get a swing. I don't know, but it, it, you get a really good contraction in the biceps when you do this. You have to, this is something that should be done, I feel like mid-set, uh, mid-exercise, rather than like something to start out or like, yeah, I feel like it's the best um, position in the middle of your exercises. So I like going heavier on these because I still feel a contraction, but at the same time, I feel like I'm using my full on arm strength to curl the bar. When I feel like I'm standing, it just feels like I'm using a lot more rather than having this dead hang. There's nothing to support. I'm not against my body, right? It's just literally just a dead hang into a full curl with all your strength. So we're gonna do this for about six sets. And we'll do about, we'll do, we'll do five. We'll do five sets of six. gonna do is actually help you build that leaner hard denser muscles over the more watery uh, just size wise also you're gonna have more fuller like denser feel to your arms and we're going shoulder width grip <laughs> so we got a new youtuber on deck everybody you know what I'm saying big influences I'm who, who me <laughs> yes you nah not me with the little camera set up I see you He's coming, uh, one of the, he's gonna be one of the annoying people in the gym now. Where you're like, oh, he has a camera. Uh, let me make sure I stay out the way. Uh. All right, so, oh shit. All right, so now we're gonna go on to another strength and yet volume exercise, which is the hammer curls. The hammer curls put you in the, the neutral arm positioning and it allows me to um, lift heavier weights when it comes to the curls rather than if I was pronated or supinated um, in my palms. So we're gonna go about uh, 50 pounds each arm. We're gonna go for 16 reps, which is eight reps each arm. Um, I hate, I, I'm gonna alternate, I'm gonna do alternating curls. I hate doing double for some reason, they just tire me out so fast. But then alternating curls, I get bored. Like damn, 18 reps, that's a lot. So that being said, I'm just gonna suck it up and do it anyways, because you know what? I'm trying to make some super gains. 16. Good. Once again, building that lean, dense muscle, but also size and strength as well. Now, when it comes to the, the size side, it's not as as much size as doing volume. This is more of the the longer route. When you do, you know, heavy, more heavier sets of eight, eight to like ten reps, maybe like eight reps or six to eight reps, you're still building building some size, but it's very like slow pace size over doing more volume work. So a good combination of both. Um, I'm mainly more so of the, the slower rate where I've just stuck to lifting, you know, from, from all body parts, just like, you know, set to eight. Cause I get pretty lazy a lot of times and I don't want to go past eight reps. So I just try to give it my all usually for eight reps and uh, stick to that. done with the hammer curls we're going to do one last exercise which I love to end my biceps on we want to do a drop set of 20 100 rep drag curls 20 not 20 sets 20 reps each set 
to 100, so five sets total. And uh, it's a drop set. So it's a good way to really build some crazy volume on the arms. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, oh, this you now? This what you do now? This what you do now? <laughs> hey, hey, let them know. Hey, how, how, much, how much weight you lost in the last, what, four months you said? Like 65? Four months, yeah, I lost about 55-ish pounds. From 220 to 153, 154. 220, 153, 154. Okay, I see you. I see you. you get to your level, <laughs> All right, so like I said, five sets of 20. I want to start at 60 pounds. Nah, I can go. I'm going to start at 85 pounds, and I'm going to drop down every set. 20 reps, drop it, 20 reps. Ah. Pulling those elbows back, dragging it. Fifty pounds from eighty-five. Three, this is four. Twenty. Last set. Last set. Last set. Let's go. Last set. In there. Forty pounds. Damn, y'all. So next up, we got triceps. I'm gonna do 20 set, 20 reps of uh, of dips off the bench. I feel I feel it more off the bench. Well, I feel triceps more off the bench when I do dips rather than doing the actual dip thing, uh, dips machine, whatever. So we're supersetting 20 dips, 10 reps of close grip bench for three sets, and then we're gonna just close grip bench for weight. When I do dips on the bench, I like to push out. Rather than just down and up, I like to push down. Two. Oh, I forgot what I'm at. 15, 16, 17, I guess, 18, 19, 20. Close grip bench. Now we are going for six to eight reps. Heavy, close grip bench. We're gonna take a two minute break before we get into this. All right.
paint. I can go up, I can definitely go up. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business.